Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Are you bored of your radio station frequency sounding the same in every single radio sweeper you make? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick in Adobe Audition. Here we go. Let's record the frequency now. 95.8. There it is. Okay. And do you know what? I'm going to say it one more time as well. 95.8. So say that's your radio station frequency. How do you make that sound super in a sweeper? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you a little trick. Effects time and pitch. Now you may have seen the automatic pitch correction that can do things like auto-tune and cool bits on the voice, but how about manual pitch correction? Let's play with that. Now it gives you this uh, wonderful uh, little uh, frequency display here, that, similar to the spectral frequency display. But what we're going to focus on actually, we're going to move that all the way down, is this yellow line here, because you'll see you've got a little note here, and sense. You can move that up and down if you wish, but you can also draw on here little envelope points. So we can change that for each part of the frequency. We can make it a different pitch, if you will. And as jingles always go up at the end, let's raise the pitch as we go up. And then of course, for the next take, I'm gonna move it down to the default. Let's have a listen. 95.8. <laughs> Interesting stuff. And of course, we could always end on a low if we prefer to go down. 95.8. Okay, and then apply. So what you're doing here is you're drawing on little points or keyframes as you may be used to, and then you're moving the lines up and down to show whether you want the frequency of the voice to go up or down. Hit apply. It's as simple as that. Head into the multi-track of Adobe Audition and drag in that audio we've just destructively messed about with there in the waveform view. Let's match those two up to sound nice. And as I expected, they're not matching. So we'll use the global time stretching feature to make them match, to force them in a way to match. Um, this is going to get quite interesting, actually. Uh, let's just drag that out so that that first bit is matching. 95. Okay, that's getting there. Again, we'll move this in. And we need to have a little mess with this just to get them both to match rather exactly and sound right. 95.8. Okay, and then we'll solo this. 95.8. Now we're going to put on a little bit of processing here and then throw in a few effects to make it sound rather good. Maybe some rocking effects. So let's pop that one in there. 95.8. And there is your radio station frequency with a little bit of subtle pitch shift on one of the vocal takes. For more radio imaging tips and secrets, subscribe to my channel.